purpose in his word. Somebody's about to receive the increase from that word. Huh? So I thank God. I thank God. Amen. I, I pledge the leader to this 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 is a this is a different time. This is a time to pledge allegiance to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of our lives. Now, 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 let, let me get some let me get some things right. Let's lay some groundwork for for you know those of us that are still young and, and even old in the spirit. God is a spirit. Now, now, there are people that are not necessarily full of the spirit, <laughs> are not mature in the spirit, Amen. that would tell you that God is light, that God is white, God is red, God is green. I love all y'all. And I believe that God didn't call you. You know, Jesus, Jesus, he, he was known to heal the, the deaf and the dumb. There are different stages of dumbness. One thing when Jesus healed the dumb man, he put his finger in, in the man's ear. Stop listening to all that foolishness. How you don't let somebody tell you that the spirit is black. But you know that somebody tell you that the spirit is white. That's the spirit of confusion. And it meant to confuse you so that you don't get connected to the vine. And as long as they keep you disconnected, they keep you under their feet. And so they begin to be the voice that's speaking into your life. See, God put his hands on me in 1973. And it's not about me. I'm, 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 I'm struggling to speak to you about God to get your heart to receive the word of God so that God can begin to speak to you. Huh? But now, it's impossible to please God other by faith. And if you don't receive who God said, you ain't, you, that voice you hear is not God. It's not God. You might be, and, and it may be, see, let me, let me show you something. Satan was in heaven with the Lord so he knows the scripture. So just because somebody starts telling you about the scripture, about the Bible, or about the word of God, does not mean that they say St. Paul put the Holy Ghost. It does not mean like that, that. The devil is a trickster. You can take God's word and trick somebody. See what I'm saying? And, 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 and the devil, one thing that I notice about most of them devils, they want to have the authority over your life. I've never been a person that like to have somebody standing over me while I'm working. And I hate being there. And I hate for somebody that I hate to have to be dealing with somebody that you got to do that with. Huh? Huh? I, I you know, I, I, I'd rather do it myself than to continuously take you by the hand and walk you through the process. I mean, one time, yeah. Every time I see you, I got to take you back by the hand. You know, you know, I, I speak a word and you'll give you something. You don't see, if I tell you something, if I speak a word, if God have me speak a word in your life, and 10 years later you still need a word spoken in your life, let me show you something. The, the word of God is, is, is just like a grain of mustard seed. If you sow a seed in the ground, if you water that seed, it's going to break forth a tree, about, it's going to break forth a fruit. So the thing, the, the seed that's watered, that's mature, that's not going to stay the same. And if you the same 10 years later, you didn't never water it. So you didn't never have faith in that word. Now you might have disliked the person that sold the word. You, all the, you, you, might have, you might have been so confused. See, see, this is a spirit house. This is a spirit kingdom. And, we, and we, you, got, you got to forget everything that you think you know. Because we come in to teach you about the spirit. Not about the flesh, about the spirit. If you truly are being taught by God, it's about the spirit. If, if you, the Bible said, if you don't stay connected to the true vine, well, well, you can't stay connected to this church no how if you're not connected to the true vine. 
Because the, 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 the wind goes, seasons change. Through summer, winter, cold and hot, it change. Up and down, it's temporal. But if you connect it to the true vine, you understand what I'm saying? You, you, you'll get so connected to if you do move somewhere, you just start another one of these. The same thing. It, it, it's flowing the same from the same seed. Because the seed itself is gone. Huh? Now you can be rebellious and run off and just do it your own way. But you're not spiritually connected because number one, God is love. And you didn't do what you did out of love. Yeah. Huh? So, you know, we, we, we got a bunch of people that's trying to confuse people that you got to keep your eye on the prize. You have to have your spiritual eye on the prize. You have to get to the development that you, you don't, the things that you see, you have to understand that they're temporal, but you are serving an eternal God. Huh? So if, if somebody proved to you God is black, how long before somebody proved to you he red? And how long before somebody proved to you he white? And then you got to go about some books that was written and some ancient hidden secrets. And what about the, if, if they're running tricks now, they weren't running tricks back then? See, you got to get to the point where God reveals himself to you. You got to get to the point where you, you're so faithful, you receive who God says, and then pretty soon, see, Moses says like this, I wish that all God's people were prophets. In other words, that he pour out his spirit upon all flesh, that they don't have to run from house to house saying, know ye the Lord, well, all will know the Lord. So that's not why they run it from house to house. They're assembling themselves because God said assemble yourself and forsake not the assembly of yourself. But they're not running because they know the Lord, because all know the Lord. They're just coming to get the instructions, the directions, to assemble themselves, to empower themselves, to get the vision together, to plan together, to strengthen one another, to rejoice together, to have a spiritual meal. Because they've been studying out feeding. So we want to make sure that as we get into the Word of God, we want to make sure that you have a clear vision that you can see that we are talking spirit and not carnally. Because carnally is temporary. I, I, I've been in the Word of God long enough to, to I read the 23rd Psalm one today and I preach something on it today and the next week, tomorrow, God will show me something greater. And I say, oh man, that's even better, huh? It's just, huh? But when you start dealing with the spirit, God hit the nail right on the head. Come on, somebody, huh? And it won't be with wisdom of word, it'll be power of the Holy Ghost. Huh? When you got when I got to tell you something three, four times, I know that it's not the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I, I know you ain't seeking for the King of God's right now. Balaam, the story about Balaam and Balaam I tell me better than that. When you connected to God, God is your friend. And when God is your friend, you you do anything. You Abraham was God's friend forever. When you become God's friend, he, he don't call you a servant, he calls you his friend. And he reveals things to you, so you're not gonna be in a place where nobody got to tell you the same thing over and over and over and over again. Huh? That's, that's rebellion, that's thought hard. That's, that's as sorcery, as witchcraft. Huh? That's not God. That's not God. Huh? So when God, you know, you know when you, when God tell, you, ever, you ever been around somebody, you ever been around, I, I, I tell Brother Trey, I said, Brother Trey, where's my, he said, man. And then he started running on me. Where's your money, where's my money? And it, 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 the spirit, it, it just, I mean, like, he ain't, he ain't got to go to him for the next 10 years and say, where is it? He can't never say money. Huh? I mean, like, <laughs> at some point, I see where you're going. And if you become a friend with God, at some point, you begin to see where you're going. 
You can get a word in here today, and by the time you get outside, the father of the Adam stole that word, huh? Because it was it, it was rooted and grounded in your heart. You didn't receive it in the spirit of your heart, huh? And so the word that a soul, the word that a soul is spirit. And in order to receive the word, you have to be spirit. Things of the flesh are discerned by the flesh. Things of the spirit are discerned by the spirit. He says, seek ye first to keep God's righteousness so that you can be spirit. Seek the face of God, call on the name of Jesus. Seek his spirit so that when the word is sown, you can hear his spirit. You feed your spirit. Your fear is growing. Not your fresh flesh rebelling and making his own side, or own interpretation of what the word of God means. Huh? So I thank God. Amen. God is not the author of good people. You want to make your own interpretation. Huh? So now, now, now that we've said that in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 18, and, and verses 14, we're, we're dealing with, amen. No, 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 no. I don't know where I got that from. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, where that came from? Is that what the Lord wanted me? No, that ain't where he wanted you. He wanted you 18 and 24. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. Huh? And that is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Than a brother. Amen. He that has friends must show himself friendly. You, you got to have love one for another. You just got to have love one for another. You got to, in order to be a friend of God, he said, in order to be a friend of God, you got to have love one for another. You understand know what I'm saying? The Bible said, be angry, but sin not. You, you got to have love one for another. Amen. Now, 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 what we talking about in the back room ain't got no business being on the six o'clock noon. Not if we friends. What goes on in the house don't need to be spread in the street. Not if we friends. The hardship of the things you done went through, we don't have to point fingers at you and talk about you. Not if we friends. Because if I see my friend going through something, I'm going to be praying for him. If, I'm see, if I see there's an attack on my friend's life, I'm coming to their rescue, their help. If I see my friend sick, I'm going to drop everything that I've got going, and I'm going to check on my friend. Because I've got to do unto others as I would have them to do unto me. I've got to sow that seed in order to reap and harvest from it. I, if I'm not sowing that seed, uh, I'm reaping where I have not sown. Huh? Uh, I, I, I'm jumping across the fence on some things. Huh? And, 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 and see, God allowed us to, to reap what other men have sown because of the connection with the true vine. Because the other men were hired by the true vine. The other men were called by the Spirit of God. The other men were called to do a work for God. And you and I, we are taking on that harvest from that work for the same God. For the same God. And so those men worked tirelessly. They suffered. They suffered the humiliation. They suffered the cold. They suffered the heat. They, su they suffered all kind of, uh, 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 all kind of things name calling, lies, they, they, they suffered death. So that you and I would have the, the opportunity to reap the harvest. So, so when, we, when we are reaping the harvest, we can't be sleep because those that are going before us was God's friends. And they have, a, they, have, they have paved the way for you and I to become friends of God. And, and why, we, why we're called friends of God it's because there are those out there that are yet still servants of God because they don't know the things that we're being equipped with so that we can be a benefit 
to the neighborhood so that we can be a benefit to the community, so that we can be a benefit to our brothers and our sisters all over this world, so that we can become one family, one family. And in order to be one family, you got to be a friend of a friend. The Bible tells us to not to forsake our father's friend. Uh, don't forsake our friends, our father's friend. Uh, and, and, and now who is, now, now, now you have to be careful how you read this in Proverbs. It said, a man that has friends must show himself friendly, and that is a friend that stick them closer than, than, than a brother. And that's the friend that's the root of the tree that calls you and I to be friendly. That's the friend that we are connected to. The friend that's, that's closer than any brother. After, after Cain killed Abel, it was, it was, it was his friend, God, that, that made inquiry as to where Abel was. It, 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 it was God that Abel's blood cried out. See, 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 if, if, if God ain't the root, if you're not building on the solid rock, if you're not building on the word of God, see, when God is your friend, every word that comes out of his mouth is precious. You, you don't have to say something 30 times. You don't have to say something 40 times because God's word is the foundation and we're not building our house on sand. We're building our house on the word of God. See when, see when you're constructing a house or you're building a house or you're building something, when that cement truck get out there, you got to already have the foot and everything done. It's got to be already ready to pull. That truck ain't just sitting out there just to come sit there. We been to pull the foundation to it that we're going to build a house on. So you got to already have the foundation ready before you even start building a house. Oh, somebody ain't seek ye first the kingdom of God. And it's right that that's why he said, you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. You have to have the foundation in your life because if you don't have the foundation, your house is built on sand. And sand has a, has, has, has a, has a, has a thing of shifting. That's where we get so much shifting in the church today. Because sand will shift. Come on, somebody, amen. Oh yeah, yes it will, yes it will. If you don't believe me, you watch some of these, some of these, some of these uh, mud slides. You you watch the you watch the erosion that goes on. You watch the different things. There, there's, there's a shift that's going on. Oh, uh, well, I thank God, amen. But now a turnaround, a turnaround, huh? I mean, I, I, I mean a turnaround, a complete turnaround, a uh, turnaround, a one eighty or uh, three sixty. Because a, 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 a complete turnaround is just going back the way you were. Mm -hmm. So now with all things becoming brand new, I already know what happened in the street. I already know what happened, what happened in the neighborhood. I already know what happened in school. I'm trying to find out the, what, why this thing keeps shifting. Why this thing keep moving. Why this thing is not right? The reason it's able to shift is because it's not built on a solid rock. And it's not built on the word of God. Because if it was built on the word of God, it wouldn't shift and be steadfast, unmovable. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. So you got to make sure, you got to make sure that it's actually the word of God. You got to make everything, everything that, that, that good is not gold. Every day it sound good. I mean, it sound good. Man, you get to sing a good song, it just get to sound is good. Huh? They done made, made free, set free. Well, God done set me free. He might have set you free, made me free. Mm -hmm. no, I'm talking about with authority. I ain't talking about with just, huh? I ain't talking about what the world could have did, because that's temporal. Anything that's temporal, see, see, when God do something for you, God is eternal. And see, we, we, we have a habit in this realm here of talking about waiting on God, or you can't rest God. But God is eternal. To God, a whole thousand years ain't nothing but a day. You're the one in the hurt. You're the one trying to receive from an eternal God something carnal, 
so so you're not ready to wait on it, or you're not you're not trying to get in his time, but you want him to get in your time. See, 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 some somebody said it like this, uh, by the by the stripes of the Lord am I healed. So I continuously say that because I continuously believe that, but I'm sowing a seed. Now if you sow a seed and it jump up tomorrow, you better run. You got to, that seed got to have time to germinate. That seed got to have time to familiarize itself with the soil. So it, it takes a process for it to happen. So when you pray a prayer to God, you want it immediately to happen, but you don't want it sown where it's eternal. You want it sown where it's temporal. You want it in a hurry. And God does not give anything like that. God, with God, with God bless you, God bless you has no sorrows with it. And there's but one way you can add no sorrows with it. You got to be able to look, you got to be able to cross all the T's and dot all the I's. Cause, cause so I, you know, that's that's what it is to come to see a seal. She goes, if I, if I come see a seal, he sees it in an eternal realm. If I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it in a carnal realm. So I'm not seeing what could happen ten years. I'm not seeing what could happen in a hundred years. I'm not seeing what could happen in the age of time. The, the age is changing. The heaven and earth uh, uh, being consumed. The heaven and earth move. But the word of God, it's the word of God that remains the same. The house of burn down. The house of turmoil. But the foundation of still be there. And the foundation is the word of God. And if you've got to decide whether you're going to build your house on, a on something that can turn by it, something that can catch a fire, something that can fall apart, or something that's steadfast and unmovable. That's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Because when God picks something up and turns it around, it ain't shifting nowhere. Not when God does it. Not when God does it. And you say, well, Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. But you don't know what that tree that God planted out there when the wind blow, when the hurricane blow, when it started raining, when it's a lightning or whatever. Everything has a storm that it goes through, but that doesn't mean that the storm has power over the tree because it's going through a storm. Huh? And if you were planted by God, you can endure in a storm. That's why he said, don't be afraid with sudden fear when it comes, because your confidence has to be in the Lord. Now, if you're afraid in a house, perhaps you need to go back and look at the text and see what he said. But seek ye first the spirit realm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the unmovability of uh, e e the, uh, the unmovableness of God. They never, they never change. It's always the same. Uh, if you're going to build a house, you think you were going to build a house. Now, if you didn't build a house to sell for somebody, that look, it, look, it seemed to be a difference because, you know, you got to rent a house. People will move in it. They'll tear it up. You got to come in and repay it because they started moving in, they started moving out. But if you got a house that you're going to call your home, and you know you're gonna be there for a while, you're gonna buy a better washing machine, you're gonna buy a better stove, you're gonna put a better roof on there, you're gonna do all kind of better stuff. So how is it that I'm going to put the best gas in my car, but I'm going through the neighborhood to the neighborhood meat market, buying the worst food to put in my children, cause it's cheap. But it's gonna cost me a lot of heartache a lot of pain, a lot of sickness, a lot of nights up. I'd rather gave them that dollar that they, they started print every five minutes anyhow instead of giving them my joy, my peace, my happiness. Amen? Because when I see little Johnny running around the house, I want it to be strong. I wish I'd have paid $5 instead of them $2 now because Johnny wouldn't be strong, but he $2 a week. So y'all don't want to talk to me. See, we are so concerned with eating everywhere and doing everything now. But there are some places that have organic food, and there are some places that have temporal food. And we act like we don't know the game. We act like we don't know the game. We act like, we act like I don't know what, I ain't come about no hood, man. I ain't come about the neighborhood. 
I come up out the hood. You ain't got to be coming up out the hood. They put, they, they take, they take cocaine, they take heroin, they take marijuana, and they mix it so they blow it up so you have more. So how is it that I don't understand what they're doing to this food? And why is it that I don't understand why I'm gaining all this weight, why I'm always feeling bad, why I'm never thinking right, why I'm already always ready to go off because of all this stuff they put in this food. I should have paid $5 for the organic instead of $2 for that regular. Y'all don't want to talk to me. I'm buying blow up. Uh, I'm buying a bunch of blow up. And I'm putting that in me, in my children. How is the carnation milk was good for the baby? Not everybody on similar like they know that nobody but their head because they won't get they gonna lose their mind. <laughs> when they were bringing up tinny babies, the carnation babies or whatever, they had them in the baby bed to the leave little Johnny in there. He could go in there and play and have a good time. Nowadays, you better have a, 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 a perfect baby bed. You better put a shield around it. You better do everything because it's got to be a broken neck in the baby bed. How is this happening? <laughs> he must be one of them civilized babies. Uh, in other words, we done put some chemicals together. And we done altered. And the Johnny still look the same. But we studied medicine and we had to check it on them all the time. They don't tell you when he might go off, explode. And if you're the low man on the totem pole, you know yours gonna get the worst stuff. I'm gonna turn back to God, cause God will give me a healing, not a treatment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the long road and not the short road. See, I'm gonna connect to the spirit of God and not the current arena of God. How many of y'all know they got an organic, they got an organic God and they got a blow up God? Huh? How many of y'all know that God's identity was the first identity that fell from the Huh? How did God start changing all these colors? How did God begin to be flesh and on a poster instead of spirit as he said he is? Now, if I'm telling you I'm spirit and you don't see a picture of me, that's God. You know, some people can be so messed up, they can close their eyes and, and, and vision Jesus and they'll see this devil. I've seen it happen. I, 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 was, I, I was a friend of mine was going to the pawn store and wanted me to go there with him. And I'm in there and the lady picked up this cross and it's got this man on it. And she told us, they was looking at that cross. And I said, uh, they said, why don't you get the one with Jesus on it? I said, where he at? He said, that one right there. I said, where? She said, this cross, you put it up by me. You call God and that's ain't God ain't wrong with you. you. Gotta go brainwash somebody else. Huh? God is a spirit. I believe what God said. I believe what the word of God said. God is a spirit that it wishes him, but wishes him in spirit and in truth. If I got a friend, my friend I ought to know my friend. My friend is closer than any brother. So my friend is the spirit of the living God. And the spirit of the living God has never left me, nor has he ever turned his back on me. He's never let me down. He's never talked about me. He's brought me through some hard times. He's always been there for me, and he take real good care of me. And the more I line up and listen to him, I found out, you know what I found out? That God actually did create the heaven and earth. I actually found out that God worked everything in six days and he entered into his rest. I found out that God made everything perfect. So here I am over here listening to you tell me how things go instead of listening to God. Amen. I done prayed all night long for God to bring about a change in my life. Somebody come and tell me God sent them, describe God to me, and I don't want to hear nothing they got to say. Why am I wasting God's time? Now I want to know why God mad with me. Uh, he'll be at my door every day. Oh Lord, help me! Oh Lord, help me! Oh Lord, help me! I send somebody to our day, no good. He don't want need help. Go get your own help then. Go get you a pretty help. Um, uh, like the young girl, uh, 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 switching boy. What do you mean? Go to the car lot. 
Huh. Pick out you a nice pretty car. Uh -huh. But that's a bad joke in there. Amen. I said bad joke. Pull off the car and I go boom. Boom boom. Hey man, I need to so, well, you, you try to get your car fixed, but I'm waiting on my money. I just got it from you bought it as is, bro. What do you mean? You bought you bought beauty. You didn't buy nothing solid. You got fascinated by how it look. You live by sight and not by faith. You believe God every man alive, you decide to be crazy thing up. Come on, somebody. Huh? I need to see a little something. Huh? And then how long, huh? How long you been on this corner? Huh? I remember when I was a little boy, a man down there on 34th and 7th Avenue, a cat, sold my, sold my mama a friend, my mama a friend a car. But that was a bad car. That car ran for that one. I said, when I grew up, I'm going to buy a car from that man. I went everywhere to buy a car. Man, I was standing at a mechanic shop. You get one of them shady mechanics, I didn't know they could do this. They could fix your car to run three months. They could fix your car to run two weeks. If they need some money in about six weeks, you'll be right back there. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't know that. Huh? But I went up there and I finally done on me about that man up there. And I went up there and said, Cat, I need a car. Man sold me a car. Huh? Man, that car used to ride so good. Man, I thought I'd fall asleep in that car. So I thought, huh? And I figured out something. I said, that man been on that same corner ever since I was a child, dealing with the same people. Ain't nobody killed him. Ain't nobody, and, uh, he done got older. He ain't good to fight no more. So anybody went up there and beat him up. So what? You must have got something good going. Amen. You done changed the corner 10 times. Can't nobody find you. I ain't going to know where you are. He ducking somebody. Huh? Might not be you, but he ducking somebody. He'll probably be you in a minute if you keep on with it. Huh? I'm just saying, amen.